Welcome to the channel. I'm Rochelle Emerson, and uh, we're going to talk about uh, Popcorn Planet. We're looking at Andy, and he uh, hosts Popcorn Planet. If you don't know who he is, go check out his channel. He was really, in, I, I discovered him during, well, it's been a year. I thought I was subscribed to his channel, but apparently I wasn't. I, I don't know. I thought I was, because I watched him a lot. During the Johnny Depp Amber Turd trial, <laughs> and he was uh, very instrumental in covering that trial, where he he had exclusive interviews with uh, one of the neighbors that was at Depp's. I guess what was that a penthouse apartment or whatever? There was several tenants in in the building, and. Uh, he had talked to her. Obviously, I don't remember what the woman's name was. It's been a year. So, I mean, everybody was glued to the TV or YouTube or wherever you were getting your depth turd trial uh, information. But Popcorn Planet did a phenomenal job. Not that he right off the bat was throwing Depp under the bus or hurt under the bus, but as the trial progressed and and testimony and thank god the trial was televised live that we saw right through the, the 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 bs right and he brought a lot of that i watched a lot of his footage during that trial but he's in the hospital this is why i'm bringing it up and uh and it's pretty bad and so l let me let you tell let me let him tell you okay what's wrong with him Hey guys, so um, I didn't really want to do this video, but I'm based on what I'm hearing, it's going to be a couple weeks of recovery, and so it's in order to keep doing what we do, and all, in, in, if all goes well, which it will, right? It will. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to hide. Uh, but so guys, as you might not know, I have glasses, and I have really, really bad eyesight. Like it's it's really bad. Um, and he doesn't usually he doesn't have glasses on when he when he did his do does his show. Comes from my genetics. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Mom. Uh, <laughs> my dad has a history of bad eyesight. Uh, yeah, look, to, not to bury the lead, uh, I'm going blind in my eyes. Oh my um, God. And so I've had floaters that have come into my eyes, uh, and I've seen the eye doctors, and it seemed like it wasn't that there weren't any tears or any issues. I had a larger floater that appeared on this eye. Uh, about a week or so ago, scheduled the eye appointment, but you know how scheduling eye appointments and insurance goes. They didn't get me as quick as they should have. Uh, and so I waited and then started seeing a dot. I felt like there was a bug on my desk it was moving around. And these are all warning signs, guys, to make sure to not avoid. Uh, and then last night, as I was uh, helping my son with his homework, I suddenly lost, I don't know, I, like basically like this, I started losing a uh, portion of vision in my eye. I would have been terrified as well. Could you imagine? I mean, I need glasses to, to read. Um, you know, if I'm sitting down reading a book or something. Or if I'm on the computer, I have to lean in or I got to blow the screen up. But uh, I would be scared to death um, if I, if that was happening to me. Uh, we can watch a little more of this. I can, I'm can. i going to leave this link in the, the description and you can watch the whole thing. Um I just wanted to touch base because, you know, I like this guy. And I'm hoping the best for him and praying that he's going to be okay. Uh, it was terrifying because my eye doctor, who I'd seen previously, who has been very good for me uh, and helping, and gave me these warning signs to look for. Thankfully, I, I hopefully have caught it in time. Um, told me if it too. curtaining is what it's called. Curtaining or black pepper spots or if things get worse, go immediately to the hospital. So it happened last night. I called the hot, I called my um, uh, called around to the experts who. Did. Yeah, if any of you guys ever get that, go to the doctor immediately. Just like he's saying, if you're just seeing anything, um, going on, go to the doctor. Your eyes are important. Do retina care, and of course, no one's available at that point. It's late, so now I have to wait till the morning. I'm in checking it out. 
the appointments were still taking too long. I went to, to uh, emergency room because I was like, this is too much. I went to an emergency room that has retina specialists uh, because I was so worried. And good thing I did, Steph, because I have now have learned I have a detached retina. Mm. And that is why I am not seeing very clearly. Oh it's right God. sort of in my uh, center of vision. And uh, it's gotten serious enough that it's getting very scary. Um, I mean, you can tell his eye is kind of lazy. The, the one that he's having trouble with. Scary in that it, they, he's warned me this could have really ramifications long term. Um, it was a moment. He's like, yes, uh, you're having a life moment. I was like, thank you. I can't <laughs> get clear. I'm trying to laugh to try to get through it. And I'm making this video, uh, I guess, as a warning sign to folks. Um, Thank you. Transparency of why you're not going to get the typical type of content over the next two weeks because I'm going to have to go under surgery. Oh, wow. Don't you just hate commercials? Tomorrow morning to attempt to repair and retact, reattach and fix lasers. Steph, I don't even want to think about what they're going to be doing to the eye. It's like mortifying, like saw level. I always mm. think of that final destination with the laser. I, I just, that stuff freaks me out. Even though I have contacts, stuff to my eye freaks me out. And they're about to do some really crazy stuff to my eye. Well, I thought I'd give a, I'm going to drop this link and you guys can go show him some love. Uh, Popcorn Planet. Um, Andy's going into the hospital. Now, this was posted two days ago and I, I just saw it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm busy. I have a kid. I'm doing things and. I don't always get a chance to to catch everything, but I saw this just a little while ago and went, Oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this and um if we can all just pray that he has a safe, speedy recovery, safe surgery. Oh man, all those lasers. Ooh. That's just oh, it's cringe, right? You're just like ouch, but Prayers go out to Andy and his family. I hope everything goes well. Um, Y'all watch the whole video. Um, he goes on to some more details and stuff. And um, But I just wanted to touch a little bit of base and show him some love. And uh, y'all pray for him. And thank you so much for joining me. And peace.